All right, everyone. Hi, and welcome to today's Sig Docs uh, community biweekly meeting. Today is Tuesday, the 15th of October, 2024. My name is Natalie Vlatko, pronouns are she, her. I'm one of the coaches of Sig Docs, um, and we've also got a few more of our leadership crew. Uh, we've got a Ray, another co-chair, Ray Lahano, and also Xander and Kat, two of our tech leads also here on the call um, and a big slew of um, new joiners and also uh, um, regulars here on the call as well. Um, before we get started, I wanted to note that this is a Kubernetes meeting um, and thus it means that it's uh, dictated and run by the Kubernetes or should I say uh, 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 it follows a Kubernetes code of conduct, which means that we generally want to be respectful and kind to one another, not only in this meeting, but also in PRs, issues, how we generally interact in the overall project. Um, maybe you can just, okay, there goes my cat behind me. Sorry about that, folks. Um, but if uh, if anyone has any issues when it comes to things that could be a code of conduct violation or a request, um, there is information in the agenda that you can see that I'm sharing with you here, where you can uh, contact that uh, committee at conduct at kubernetes.io. We take things, things things really seriously, so please feel free to reach out to those folks, and they will keep your anonymity protected. Um, okay, uh, so uh, now that we've uh, gotten started, I wanted to say hi to any new joiners on the call. And if you wanted to unmute and say hello to introduce yourself, now is the time to do so. Yes, so hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mohammed Imran, and I'm from India. And I'm currently in the transition phase. Like, uh, basically, I'm from civil engineering background, and I'm learning and trying to enter into DevOps. So yeah, and this is my first ever meeting. So I'm trying to learn and how can I contribute to this Kubernetes and in any way possible. Yeah, thank you so much. That's great. Welcome, Mohammed. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to the call. Uh, welcome to the Kubernetes community. Uh, this is a great place to start your contribution journey. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions about anything, feel free to definitely ask not only by unmuting, but also in the chat, however you wish. Um, also really recommend coming to join the Kubernetes Slack and joining the SIGDOCS uh, Slack channel as well. We'd love to see you there. Thank you, Thank you Nathalie. Anyone else wanted to unmute and say hello? All right. Uh, no answer is also okay. Um, and so what we'll do is we will get um, started with the rest of our agenda for today. Um, if anyone else new does join that wants to say hello, please feel free to do so. That's okay. Or just say hi in the chat. That's also totally fine. Um, all right. Uh, let's go through um, the current reminders that we have for this week. Um, this week's PR Wrangler is a Depeche being shadowed by Steve Hardman and next week's PR Wrangler is me um, and I'm being shadowed by uh, Femi who's one of our new um, contributors that joined in our last call as well at the I Heart Nathan uh, handle and then the following week's PR Wrangler is Divya Mohan another one of our co-chairs um, who's in the India time zone and thus um, uh, a bit late for her to join some of these meetings sometimes. Um, I do want to note for folks who are new, PR Wrangling is basically our little uh, roster of um, weekly shifts where we as approvers try and push contributions through the contribution lifecycle, trying to get PRs reviewed if they need a technical review or reviewed by us as well, um, and trying to get contributions either merged or pushed out if need be. Um, and we do also the same with issues. So this week's issues Wrangler is Niranjan and next week's issue Wrangler is Tim. Um, for folks who do need um, a PR uh, reviewed this week, feel free to reach out to Depeche, who's on the call, one of one of our great approvers on the call. Um, and for next week, you can reach out to me. Um, I do want to openly say on the call as well that uh, for next week, my PR wrangling shift will be halved because I will be on the way to GitHub Universe and flying to San Francisco. So some of my week will involve a lot of travel. So um, I'm going to do a short week next week. So sorry about that for everyone. And uh, I'm um, at KCD UK next week, so issue wrangling similar. Okay, great, awesome. All right, thank you. I might um maybe we'll put a quick reminder next week in the in the in the docs uh, channel as well for folks. Um, I will anyway, just in case people are pinging me and I am not answering because I am on a plane. <laughs> All right, um, reviewers uh, and issue wranglers, please make sure you're checking your shifts. Um, of course, we'd like to do all these uh, friendly reminders um, and we'll, myself or Ray will sometimes also pop into the Sig Docs um, channel and, and, and tag the folks who are on shift for this week too. So don't forget to check your shifts as well. 
Um, and then finally, um, again, if there's any code of conduct issues that you see also on these PRs and issues that we're wrangling and looking through, you can contact the code of conduct committee and they will absolutely um, answer you and try and help you out. Okay, um, let's go through today's agenda. Uh, we're up to release 1.32. We're going to go through some updates here. I would love to call on whoever is here from release docs to give today's update. Um, hi, parents. Uh, so I will be de delivering the today update for release for release doc. Uh, current status is yellow. The branding for the week is complete yesterday. Um, and the first batch of reminders for draft PR was sent out. Um, we haven't gotten so uh, too much movement yet in terms of PR created. Uh, so the next step is to message in uh, the cap owner in Slack to remind them to create the PR one week before deadline, which is October 24th. Um, and also we will we may need help uh, with escalating to sit list for uh for the one that are unresponsive. And yeah, that's all for the update today. Awesome, thank you, Michelle. Um, uh, th thank you for calling out that you might need some help with some uh, escalations. Uh, SIGDOC leadership, very, very happy to help with that if needed. Um, um, also, I, I assume some release uh, folks also <laughs> very happy with that. <laughs> um, um, if it is needed next week, I will probably myself and maybe Kat may not be as responsive at the end of next week, given that we will be traveling, but um, um, Ray, Divya, Xander will be definitely around to be able to help out and escalate. Yeah, tell your sub team lead to come talk to me. Um, I'll put my release team hat on briefly. Uh, tell them to come talk to me and we'll get you some more resources if you need it. That is part of what the release lead shadows are for. So we will we can we can utilize them to get you some additional help. Perfect. Thank you. You're so welcome. Oh. Awesome. Thanks for the update. And thanks for being, you know, uh, putting an update of yellow. Just want to openly say to folks, it's okay to sometimes have a yellow or even red status with some of these release um, release updates. Um, that's what SIGDOX is here for, to help out and try and unblock as much as possible. Thank you. Um, any further questions for release docs before we move on? Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I'd love to recall on release comms for their next update. Um, thanks, Natalie. Um, this is William. Uh, we are currently tracking 60 announcements and started the opt-in reach out, planning to have, the, uh, sorry, the current status is green, um, and planning to reach out for the reminder um, in, te in 10 days or so. Uh, for, the, for the deadline to the 30th of, uh, of October, the discussion for the release highlights has been created and, and uh, it's linked in the notes. Uh, and the reach out will be completed uh, this week, this or next week, uh, this and next week, sorry. About the mid-cycle uh, mid blog, it's probably going to be a sneak peek uh, by Matteo uh, that is working closely with the announcement lead, uh, Tyler, I think it is. And we're going to get, yes, and to get an initial set of caps uh, that we could showcase um, in such a blog. We're still, the, we're still considering the idea of having uh, inside the release team opt-in blog in collaboration with the Contrib uh, experience. Great, thanks for the update. Awesome, thank you. Does anyone have any questions for release comms? Uh, Matteo, do you need help choosing caps for the uh, sneak peek? Uh, we're gonna have a call tomorrow with, uh, with Tyler. Okay. Uh, so we we just pick them and maybe we validate them with uh, release notes too. Okay. I don't know. Just a check. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, add me to the meeting and I will try to make it. Um, ah, cool. Unfortunately, Grace is having uh, LASIK tomorrow, so she is out for <laughs> the next week. Yeah, I I'll invite you right away. Thank you. have one more question so that's 60 enhancements total for the release though not the total opting in for uh feature blocks right sorry uh, sorry can you repeat Ray? oh sorry go on, yeah. yeah can you repeat the question just because i didn't hear very well yeah it's just 60 enhancements um is that 60 total enhancements for the release and that's not uh 60 enhancements that have opted to do a feature blog no, no, no. It's just 60 announcements that are currently tracked for the release. Uh, right. And we just started the reach out, so we don't know yet the status. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're going to have uh, more numbers ne between next week and uh, and the week after. I already have one that opted in, but that's, I think, the only one for now. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Any further questions? Sweet. Thank you, release uh, teams, uh, release sub teams for your updates. Um, of course, reach out to us in Seek Docs, all the different um, release comms and release docs, release docs uh, channels as well. We always, always monitor them if you have further questions. Okay, um, going on to the rest of our agenda now, a bit of a short one. Uh, we don't have any issues or PRs in the specific uh, agenda written, uh, but does anyone have any issues or PRs they would like to talk about today? Going once, going twice. Having none to review, none to talk about is completely good and fine. Um, if anyone does think of any that they do want to discuss after this call has ended, you can always come into the Sick Docs channel and we can do so. Okay, let's move on to then the agenda that we have of discussion points. I would love to um, move uh, the mic, the virtual mic, over to Abby, who's got some localization updates. Yes, hello, um, I'm Abby, uh, one of the localization subproject leads. So we are. Uh, the folks who help our various localization teams uh, get their work done uh, and coordinate sort of our efforts. So I had planned to do, we just had recently, we have a monthly meeting and we just had it um, last m Monday and I had planned to do a little bit of updating here, um, but then some of it wasn't in quite the right state to, to share uh, in a form of an issue here. So my updates are not as long as they probably should be. Uh, but the first thing is that we just did a big PR to um, move the localization readme files. So now they are relocated within, um, I believe it's that they'll be located within the actual repos for um, each localization teams. Um, and this was uh, kicked off of an effort um, to make sure that localization teams themselves had permission to update their readme files um, because of where they were located. They, it was a big problem when people wanted to update their localization uh, information um, because uh, they didn't actually have permission to, to uh, merge that content and it was, they had to get outside help to do that. Um, and this uh, is now uh, been merged and sort of completed. So the next step is just to make sure cleanup, uh, I believe some cleanup PRs have been made. Um, so this is just sort of an update of what is happening now. Um, and we do, I do have some items I'll be following up on from our meeting. Um, that happened earlier uh, around permissions. We have a couple of other permission related issues um, creating um, de deployment branches for um, in Netlify. And then um, there's a couple of policy notes um, that I'm hoping to create a PR for and then we can kind of get consensus from the community. Um, all of this work has come from, a lot of it has come from um, Sokol who is the uh, other sub project lead um, but he's based in Korea, so he has difficulty coming to this meeting. So I'm here to to sort of give updates for the team. Uh, but this is based on a lot of work that he has done over the summer um, to kind of get uh, a little more consensus from the community of what we want to do. I hope to be bringing more uh, of this information in the form of PRs and issues uh, in the, in Slack or in future meetings. Uh, and uh, so this is sort of my succinct update of, of localization that we have been doing work and we will be continuing to, to, to share out <laughs> that work going forward. Um, yeah, so that was my update. And uh, if you're interested in uh, learning more about localization, we have the localization um, Slack channel that you can come and, uh, and ask questions. And we also have a monthly meeting um, that happens the first Monday of every month. Um, so if you're interested in joining that and, and learning more, please feel free to join. Awesome. Thank you so much, Abby. For folks who do want to join that meeting, if you join the Seek Docs Google group, you should be able to get actually all the information to all the things on our cal calendar, including the localization monthly meeting as well. That's on the calendar there too. So getting um, uh, in, uh, joining that Google group will give you the calendar eventually. It's a little bit slow to sync, but it does send you those uh, invites eventually. Uh, thanks so much, Abby. Um, does anyone have any questions or comments that they wanted to uh, ask Abby before we move on? Oh, Mohammed, you'd love to join the localization channel. Thanks. Yes. Um, I just saw your chat. Um, if you uh, jump into Slack, it would be uh, SIG Docs Localizations. Um, I will type it into the chat in a moment, or if someone else wants to, that'd be great. But that is the name of the general localization channel. And then from there, we do have, thank you, Ray. Um, then from there, we do have 
channels for all of the different languages and you can definitely ask which ones um, are available or how to find those specifically in that channel. That would be really great. Um, and then Tim, I think I saw that you had a hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to, to uh, sort of boost that um, we use the Doxy theme and the Doxy theme has uh, merged uh, right to left support um, and, and released that pretty recently. And uh, we are not ready for that. But we are, we are, I'm doing some work to get ready for that. Other people are working on different parts of this. The people who are hoping to localize into Arabic are getting ready to have something that will need to be right to left because that's how you write Arabic. So there is stuff happening. That is kind of what I wanted to, to boost. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. And I've just seen that you've got your camera on there, Nate. I have a feeling you'd like to chat about chat a bit too. Uh, super, super excited about the Doxy merging um, left to right support, or right to left support, rather. Um, and I just wanted to say that uh, I think um, Patrice may be available um, to help with some of the um, um, work to support that in uh, Kubernetes.io. Uh, so um, I'm hoping he'll um, reach out um, um, and, and and maybe uh, since you're already doing some of that work, Tim, maybe um, um, I'll ask him to, to reach out to you and, and see how, how best. Um, I've heard from Patrice. He's, he's been in touch like directly okay. to me to, I'm glad uh, to check in. <laughs> yeah, he just, if you're, if you're interested in learning more about um, the status of this uh, topic we're talking about uh, in the SIG docs localization channel, there is a, a pretty recent comment from Patrice that sort of talks about the Doxy uh, right to left support. I did drop a link uh, to one of the issues he posted um, so if you have an interest about the, uh, what the status is or want to contribute and then sort of have feedback there, um, please, please, please reach out. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, folks. And I also just generally want to give a shout out to our um, Arabic localization team who are doing a lot of really, really great work to enable also some of this to be uh, to kind of go live in, the, in that um, they're willing to be kind of our guinea pigs, let's say, uh, for this kind of support and, and uh, for this work on the website, which is really great. Okay, um, any other further comments or questions um, for Abby on the localization updates? All right, uh, thanks so much, Abby. Um, let's move on to Tim, uh, or you actually already put in, sorry, you just mentioned that. I just uh, did the whole quick look on the agenda and realized I didn't read it before I said that out loud. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> um, Drew, uh, you've got an agenda item here um, with, uh, with the SIG doc sprint at KubeCon. Would you like to chat? Yeah, so I know that KubeCon is coming up pretty quickly in about a month, or less than a month now. But I wanted to um, I wanted to check in, see um, what I can expect. Um, if there's any advice for running a doc sprint, I think there are a few people here that have ran the doc sprint before. So um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I'm prepared and getting my ducks in a row. Yeah, you are definitely on the right call for this question, uh, Drew. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so firstly, uh, for, to give a quick answer to uh, something that you've already written around the expected run from 10.45 to 4.30, um, that's the time definitely that you have the room for in terms of the advertisement of, of what you're what you of what you have the room for. It is up to you as the organizer if you want to use all that time and if that's going to be something that you want to. Um, we say 10.45 as well because that's after the general larger um, intro to the Contrib Summit as well, so that folks can go to those first main sessions and attend the kind of opening, have a bit of coffee and breakfast with one another before they all go off to the different rooms or the sprint room for the different tracks that are happening for the day. Um, so just to give you a, a brief idea around the time frame, and 4.30 is the end because there is going to be like a closing part of the of the Contrib Summit with awards, so we don't want people in the sprint missing the last part of the Contrib Summit either. So hence the ending there. But if you want to end earlier, that's completely okay. Okay. Um, yep. I can keep going, but does anyone else who who's run a sprint want to kind of chime in and say what, say? Yeah, I was, I was going to say that there should be a theme. Um, so the last one in pairs was uh, helping out with, with etcd docs. So that wasn't necessarily, necessarily Kubernetes.io docs, so it was with etcd docs. Um, so there should be some kind of theme uh to the doc sprint um i will be at kcs but i'm 
actually leading the room proctor, so may not my availability might be limited at this mm -hmm. contributor summit because since I'm managing the uh, room proctors and but I will be there on site. Okay. Yeah, I think what and what we mean about theme is uh, the sprint should already have the kind of work that you want to want the group to come in and do together already somewhat uh, thought out and planned, not necessarily exactly the tasks, but it could be, as an example, with Abby, when Abby ran the sprint, we had a look at a lot of the different um, uh, page weights that we wanted to actively change across a lot of the docs that we had. And we kind of just all went in and decided, okay, here is how we're actually going to uh, break up this work. Here is how we want to kind of work on this together. And it was just a little, uh, you know, group of us uh, for a couple of hours, just going across and trying to change a lot of these weights and change some of the, and, and, and discovering that we needed to go into some of the reference docs work to be able to change some of this and, and so on. So um, figuring out the area that you want the people to work in slash theme that you want folks to work in is, and then being able to then, um, advertise that in advance so that people then know if they come to the doc sprint, they'll be helping you with this specific thing. That would also be really great. Okay. That's a, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say that's a good point of like the themes that were great in the past have been like ones that were uh, kind of easy to do for many folks, but hard to do for a single person. So for a single person to do like add in page weights for lots of many pages, it's going to take a long time, but a group of folks could do that quite easily. Uh, so that's a good thing to look out for. Not necessarily you don't have to do that per se, but. Okay. Um, are there any themes that we think would be a good opportunity at this time? Like, are there are there certain certain things that we have sort of noticed over the last year that could use some TLC? Yeah, Tim. I would have to go through the issue. Go ahead, Tim. <laughs> I have one. Um, I would love us to document uh, how to use TLS for a workload because we've had an issue for that for absolutely for years. And it is not documented and loads of people want to use TLS. And I think we should give people at least some guidance on what you do to make your workload, not your cluster, but your workload support TLS. Is do you do you see that as a project that can be distributed a month? Like is this is this like a good group project? Uh, open to the room. I, I I would love to. I'd love to to find out that the room thinks it is. I think I think one thing to note is that um, just because you have a sprint with a theme and things you need to work on, it doesn't mean it needs to be absolutely perfectly completed in that time frame either. Gotcha. It could even be a really great way to kickstart a bunch of work that then actually gets completed later on. But the actual mammoth task is the start of it. Right. And and having folks in the room together to be able to discuss and talk about how would we actually start documenting how to, you know, how to use TLS for workload and what how would we break up this work or break it up into sections, et cetera. And maybe having that conversation and then figuring out that framework is the is the thing that needs to happen so that it can be broken up into smaller issues and then later on worked on in, in smaller brackets. So it's okay that something doesn't get completed. Um even kickstarting work is also a really good use of time for the doc sprint. And uh, you will you will find Drew that plenty of people have used TLS in, in their in their IT career, so it's, yeah. it's it's approachable in its own way. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I would also was going to say for for these type of for that type of issue, you could kind of have it be broken up. Of course, like the morning we'll talk about TLS, and then the afternoon maybe we'll talk about another area to then maybe kind of get a group of people you don't have to spend. You know, I don't know how deep this topic area is, but you don't necessarily need to spend five hours talking about it, um, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, but it could be something that you could get maybe people for an hour or two talking about one topic and then an after lunch talking about another area um, uh, that could kind of focus in on. Then people can join in or out when any, they need to. Um, Another thing I'll also note um, is that if um, once you do decide and also the decision is completely yours, Drew, as the person running it as well, if you want to double check with a few of us in SIG Docs, great, but feel free to absolutely be the one to decide what you're going to be working on. Um, create an issue 
for that day that you're going to be working on that stuff. Or if, if the, if the, if the TLS work is the one that's chosen, then maybe use the original issue and feel free to maybe create one specifically for that day, because then that is the issue that everyone can actually use to maybe take notes in, put extra information in so that it's the kind of tracking what you've done in the sprint for the day as well. Um, that's all, always been really, really useful on something where we can kind of actively show like, Hey, look at what we were able to achieve. If they didn't end in, PRs or other issues created. This is what we were able to do and work on and, and start for the sprint. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for all that advice. I, I really appreciate it. I learned a lot. So I'm glad I asked. Great. A couple of things just to note, there's a couple of um, comments in the in the chat there. Um, Shannon has mentioned a good group activity for TLS for workers might be identifying what pages need changes to interlink and weave it in without being a standalone document. That's a really good suggestion as well. Thanks, Shannon. Um, and then uh, uh, William's asking, uh, for Tim, uh, TLS for pop, uh, for pop to pod comms or, uh, or for Ingress or both? <laughs> Where's the issue? Oh, it's working. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. A... It's on mute. Um, um, I think I'm going to answer yes. Um, you know, like I, I'm happy for Drew and all the people at running the sprint at you know who are at on site to decide how they want to tackle that. I will send Drew a link to the issue I have in mind. Um, but um, you know, I'm uh, I just like to see movement on this. I think it would be great for our end users. Great. Thanks so much, Drew. Um, any further uh, questions or comments from anyone or from Drew yourself? I just was going to uh, say for general advertising, they do talk about, um, they do in the morning session, they do kind of go over the schedule for the day. So that's like an opportunity for you to kind of do um, a blast about uh, the actual event that you are holding. Um, and then just talking about it in Slack and uh, leading up to the event and, and sort of doing advertisements uh, that way. Uh, which is something I always forgot to do. Uh, so I would recommend <laughs> to you to kind of get, uh, let people know that well, what's happening and what the topic is to kind of get their interest as they're deciding what to do throughout the event. That's great. I really appreciate that. I could also help send out any kind of comms, email or socials as well on what the, about the doc sprint. Awesome. Yeah, I'll hit you um, up. All right, sounds good. And we do that through the through the summit staff uh, comms that I help write some comms for. Cool. Awesome. Thanks everyone. Appreciate all the support. Cool. And and, and it's gonna be and really uh, the other other main thing, uh, Drew, is um just to enjoy and have fun with it. Um all of us who run a sprint, we all just assume that no one will show up. People show up and they want to help out. Um, don't worry. <laughs> um, sometimes, even if you're in a very, very far off room, that's very hard to find. People will find it and they will come and have conversation with, conversations with you. Um, and it may turn out that your theme then kind of grows into something else. And, and that's okay too, uh, depending on how you want to work and the people that are working with you on the day, uh, just to have a good time and, and, and find some community and, and working on some cool stuff. That's, that's really the goal of the sprint. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Cool. Um, yeah, for, for those of us who aren't uh, coming or aren't able to be in Salt Lake, a big thank you also to folks, A, going to be there representing docs and B, also doing the doc sprint and, and a lot of the work in the Contrib Summit. I'm not at KubeCon NA this year, um, but uh, but hopefully see you all in London for next year if folks are going to be around there. Okay, that was the end of our agenda items. I want to ask if anyone has any other issues uh, or any other discussion points or um, anything they'd like to bring up before we end today's meeting? Yeah, I was actually asking if um, CFPs are usually accepted for a country summit. Yes, they definitely are. Um, Ray, I'm just checking with you. Are they closed yet? Yeah, the CFP is already closed for the Contributor Summit. Uh, the schedule is already out and published also is already. So if you're already, if you're a member of the uh, dev at uh, kubernetes.io group, we sent an email last week on the, about the schedule being released. Um, the only thing that has not been decided are the unconference sessions. Yeah, so actually I'm referring to the one happening in London next year. Ah, 
Uh, the London ones are actually not open yet, and the CFP will be opening. Um, we're still just uh, uh, so uh, note to everyone. I'm on. I'm one of the program chairs for the London Maintainer Summit. For everyone, for you know, um, and we're trying to figure out the dates for that as we speak. So, Charles, keep your eye on general Kubernetes communication and CNCF communication. Those dates will be announced soon. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, but I can definitely let you know that you'll have definitely until at least early December to submit a CFP. We just haven't opened it yet. Okay, so does it mean I don't need to uh, maybe submit to the general CFP that is open now? Um, that's always a recommendation to submit to the general CFP. Um, why not give it a shot? If, you, if your um, talk idea is relevant for the Kubernetes and general larger cloud native um, ecosystem uh, crew, um, I would submit also to the general CFP. There's no, there's no uh, uh, reason to not submit to as many of them as you wish. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other questions or discussion points? All right, folks, thank you so much for joining today's meeting. Um, uh, as a note to um, anyone on the call, if you've got any other further things that come up that you've forgotten to discuss, come over into SIG Docs. We'd love to chat to you. Um, but otherwise, we'll see you in a couple of weeks for the next uh, community meeting. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Bye. Thank you.